Oh no, my battery's at 15%. I don't even have a charge on me. What do I do? Like, I have nothing to be. Oh look, oh look, there's a random charging cable here. Let's plug it in, let's see if it fits. Eh. <laughs> it fits! Juice jacking is a type of cyber attack in which hackers abuse a USB public charging station to steal data or send malware to your phone. How do I get infected? You just need to plug in your phone into a compromised USB port or plug into your phone, plug your phone into a random cord lying around like we demonstrated earlier. Yeah. Now how does juice jacking work? Well let me grab this out. I'm sure you're well aware of it by now. Uh, so what happens is when you plug your phone into your computer through a USB port, whether it's a laptop or anything like that, not only does it allow for sending power, it also allows data transfer. In fact, let me try and pull off of this. I'm going to hide this because of names. And, uh, of course, this process does vary, but you will notice that I can pull off lots of things off of the phone now. Juice jacking is one that's used incorrectly by hackers to load stuff onto your phone. Say. Of course, uh, they're processes may vary. How do you know if you're infected? You may not even know because it's usually invisible. But here's a brief list that, that, stuff that can happen that you can notice. High cell phone bills, your battery drains fast, you get, you, you get random apps that you didn't even install, random calls or texts being sent to your contacts, and also unwrite authorized credit card charges and there's a lot more so this is just a few list. so how do you protect yourself well there's a few things you can do first of all you could bring your wall adapter if you have one I know modern phones sometimes won't include these but you can find these pretty cheap nowadays and this is the one that came with my phone uh, if you have one that came with your phone it's best to bring it and then plug into a wallet now that can be a bit of a challenge since the wall outlets aren't as common in public places, but it is still worth it. Uh, another thing you can use, and I would highly recommend this if you're going to be traveling a lot far away from public chargers of any kind, or any kind of charger, uh, is to grab an external battery. Here's an anchor one I got for myself. Um, and the way this works is you plug these in through your existing charger. Then you use these. Um, you basically plug these in. You basically plug these in using your existing charger. Then you use these to charge your phone. Uh, alternatively, and this is actually a good solution if you uh, have. Uh, if you're very close to your public use stations, is to get a data blocker or a juice jack defender or a sync stop or whatever you want to call these. These ones are uh, the porta pile. I've got a couple of porta piles. I got these on Amazon for like ten dollars. Uh, I will link them in the description for those who are interested in this particular one. And uh, some of them actually physically lack the data pins. If I can get the focus, you will notice that it actually does lack the data. I can get into it that in a whole separate video. But yeah, that is just some of the easiest ways to protect yourself. Uh, another way, and I don't have one of these with me, but you can get like a charge only cable. Basically those will uh, and actually be served similar purpose to the day blockers. They allow you to charge your phone, but it doesn't let any data pass through, and that applies to both the data blockers and the charge-only cables, since they both 
the same thing. The way they're only just a little bit different. The the blockers you just add to the end of your charger like this. It's a little bit tricky to do it with one hand, but you can kind of see a mean, and you just simply slide in, plug this into your public charging station, and then plug your phone in to it, and you'll be safe no matter what. And a charge-only cable is basically the same way, just it has one of these built in already. You don't need to go out and get one. And uh, with the uh, public charging stations, you're pretty much going to be safe no matter what. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want to see more like this, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, comment below anything else you would like to see. Also, make sure to check out Joe, who was the talker in the background. He will yep. also be linked in the description, as with those data blockers. And uh, uh, be sure to check out his channel. He's got other cool things there as well. I am doing a top 10 channel now. Yeah, it's top 10. I used to do IRL videos, but now but, I'm doing top uh, 10. Yeah, also, um, be sure to check out Luna Computers. They have lots of really interesting computer-related stuff. More than my channel, even. And also, if you subscribe, please comment down in my comment section below. I subscribe just to, so I can see how many people subscribed. I just want to talk to people, you know. So please do that. All right, and we will both see you in our next video. All right, bye.